Hi, this is Jen Phillips April with jenphillipsapril.com, Right Words Marketing, and welcome to our next video. So and we've already talked about finding influencers, uh, tra tracking or following your uh, industry publications and industry associations, and by now you should be getting a good idea of who's really active uh, in social media. Uh, you can keep a spreadsheet if that if you're a spreadsheet kind of a person you can make a list uh, but you want to keep an idea of who's really uh, being active and then you want to like or comment on some of their material from time to time share some of their material on your own pages and really get a sense of where the what the industry is talking about some of the big trends and then make it and then you can spin your own content to make it relevant for your audience, right? So one of the things I talk about a lot when I do trainings is the five by five. And if you haven't uh, heard me speak about this before, the five by five is five ways to come up with content for that would be relevant to your audience. And I usually start with your most frequently asked questions. So we all have frequently asked questions, right? What's the most common question that you get so write down the five most frequently uh, common questions for you and then answer them. And you can answer them in a blog post. You can answer them in a video. You can answer them in an infographic. You can answer them in any number of ways. But you really want to be thinking about the most how you can give the information about the most frequently asked questions you have. And that's going to take on, it's going to be different for each of you, but it could give you a real starting point to provide some good information. Okay, so let's give you an example. Like, um, one of my most frequently asked questions is where should I post and what should I post, right? So then I came up with this whole concept of the, the five by five. Think of your five most frequently asked questions and answer them. That sh that's really uh, pretty pretty simple. The other day I was working with an interior designer and she was coming up with ideas for um, such as, you know, what what kinds of upgrades do you want to make in your house if you think it's going to be sellable later? Um, or if you think you're going to sell it in the next, you know, three to five years, what kinds of upgrades are you actually going to get your money back for? So that would be a really good post for her to create. She could write about, you know, what are the best kinds of kitchen cabinets or, um, or kitchen counters? Do you really want to have do a whole upgrade of your kitchen if you're going to sell it in a few years? And what kinds of things are you really going to get your money back on? Um, so that was that's an example for that industry. One of the most famous examples in the social media world is Marcus Sheridan uh, of the of a of a pool company who actually turned his pool company around by sitting down and writing blog posts about everything you need to know about pools, uh, swimming pools. You know what kind of fiberglass versus you know other kinds of material. So everyone has these questions they can answer because you're all really knowledgeable about your industry. So after you've answered the most frequently asked questions, and then you want to turn those into social media posts, and, and we'll talk about that again in a, in a, in a next video, um, then also write down the five questions you wish people would ask you. Because don't you find yourself having the same conversations over and over again? And sometimes you just wish you could record yourself and, you know, uh, so that you can save your time to do other things. Because you answer the same questions all the time and you answer the same objections all the time, right? Those are the, they keep coming up. So that's what you want to, uh, and then you often give new information to people. Then they go, aha, I didn't know that. So whenever you have those aha moments, or your you know, potential client or prospect has those aha moments, take notice and you want to use that for your content. That's all great material for you. So that's the five by five rule. So your, your goal today is to come up with your five questions that are most frequently asked and answers. And if you, you know, you can also go ask other people. This is a really powerful tool. If you have a sales team, go ask them, bring them into it. Uh, and then also answer the most um, the questions you wish people would ask. So that's that's your uh, your goal today. And on our on our handout, you can download the sheet that says the five by you know five by five, and then you can take care of that. Okay. Feel free to send me any questions. I'm always happy to hear from you. You can write to me at Jen at RightWordsMarketing.com. That's W R I T E W O R D S Marketing.com. One one in Jen, and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Okay, I hope you're making you feel like you're making progress in this. Stick with it; you'll get there.